I hope you can hear me now. So I apologize. I don't know what's going on. Why uh, my sound uh, disappeared on me? And uh, hopefully it's going to be fixed as we speak. Okay. Just let me know if you are able to hear me and if you're able to see me. Okay. Please do. Okay. Because uh, for me it's really important. I have no idea why is that happening, but uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's going to work out now. Okay. So let me see. Uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, let me send you a link. Let me send you a link. Okay, so you're able to hear me. Okay, wonderful. Lori, uh, that is good. Are, are you on the same link or are you just uh, went to another link? Okay, let me know, please, because... Uh, I don't know what is going on. I mean, I checked everything again, and uh, for some reason, uh, uh, it just sometimes just doesn't work like it's supposed to work. But let me know on the Facebook, let me know on uh, YouTube if it's okay now, okay? If it's okay now. I really would appreciate if you would do that, all right? So, uh, uh, now... Uh, if it's okay now, okay? Oops, I'm talking to myself now, okay? <laughs> all right, so... Uh, uh, please forgive me, right? Please forgive me, forgive me. I, I really uh, <laughs> don't know what's going on. I am trying my best, but uh, you know. But welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I really do appreciate uh, that you're sticking with me, coming back all the time. I really do appreciate. And that today, uh, today's subject is probably going to be familiar uh, to every one of you, okay? Because uh, I know, uh, I know for fact, I know for fact that um, everyone, everyone experiencing the same thing, pretty much uh, what I do, all right? So, but anyway, uh, so. <laughs> We gonna talk about back pain, all right? So we're gonna talk about back pain or uh, lower back to be exact. And tell me if uh, you know what I'm talking about. Good morning, Paul. Uh, good morning, uh, Denise. Добрый день, очень приятно. David, hello, Lori, good morning, everyone. Uh, Gord nine three nine one three. Good morning. Okay, so it's a new link. Good. So I um, really appreciate that you're sticking in. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Uh, so how's Washington State? It's still probably cold. It's still uh, raining and so on. Um, I do have a, a friends in Washington State in Seattle and uh, and also in Oregon. Uh, so now uh, today we're going to talk about the back pain. A few years ago, approximately maybe seven, eight years ago, I woke up early in the morning. It was, uh, and I was waking up like about uh, 3.45 a.m., okay, every morning back then, okay? So about 4 a.m. Uh, to start my day and so on. Uh, you know, I spent uh, personal time uh, reading and uh, praying and so on. I, I made the coffee uh, and... Uh, got comfortable position on a sofa uh, while I was drinking coffee and uh, then what happened uh, and I had little bit uh, back pain okay I had a uh, little bit uh, back pain which is normal okay I've got that back uh, problem since I was a child I would say maybe since like uh, you know 12 years old 14 years old something like that uh, uh, I, I told uh, in another stream a little bit of my history my story uh, but you heard only one side of my family which is a city or town side of the family but I had another side uh, my mother's side and uh, they used to live uh, in a countryside okay uh, more like a farmer's land they uh, it's exactly what it is actually they were farming all life and uh, every summer I would go to uh, my grandfather Unfortunately, he passed away a long time ago, but I, I still love him with all of my heart because uh, he was a special to me, okay? 
so I grew up with a f without a father. My my father he left uh, our family like when I was eight years old, and my grandfather took his role, pretty much. And I really do appreciate uh, what he's done for me. Okay, so and every summer I would help him pretty much when the school ends uh, uh, and uh, in Soviet Union it was uh, May thirty first. It's uh, the last day of school, and we would go back to school only at uh, September first. Okay, so we had three full months of uh, vacation. So it was uh, the most exciting time for uh, us. I would go. I mean, the thirty first of May school would. I mean, we all be done with the school, and uh, on June first, I would just uh, jump on a bus. Uh, it was just a public transportation, and I would go to countryside to my grandfather and grandmother and that's a beautiful place i mean we had the, like a, it's not really big mountains but like a hillside uh, you know there's a lot of hills and uh, a lot of forest and some beautiful area uh, river uh, it was gorgeous but i you know i was working pretty much helping my grandfather while i was a child i mean to do all whatever the f farmers do i mean including hay and so on I mean we did uh, whatever needs to be done and I was only 12 years 14 years old and we would just uh, grab that whole thing and we would actually with my brothers uh, I have uh, one blood brother and I also have a cousins uh, we would compete who's gonna get the heaviest stuff and carry that uh, and uh, by age of 14 I hurt little bit my uh, back and since then I experienced that um, on and on okay so but now um uh but anyway so i was expecting that morning i sat with the coffee like i said at 3 45 a.m and uh, i was drinking and reading the bible uh, and uh, you know just praying but then i tried to get up okay and the pain was so bad i know some of you probably experienced that okay so we're talking about really 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 bad so it's not like uh, just uh, you have to scream I couldn't even scream I blacked out completely okay I I lost consciousness okay I just blacked out and fell and I uh, you know I, I was able to look at my watch and I saw the time okay and my cat how uh, we we had back then a Persian cat we, we also do have right now it's different one because another one is already passed but uh, my cat actually woke me up and I looked at my watch and it was 40 minutes past 40 minutes uh, past I was blacked out for 40 minutes so I woke up my wife and we rushed to the hospital to emergency room and they you know checked everything uh, and yes it was connected to my back it was connected to the pain of my back lower back uh, lower part of my back okay so it was uh, really messed up and yes i've done a lot of heavy stuff in my life i did the cabinetry i did the furniture making i installed cabinets just myself you know huge big cabinetry uh, not just a simple uh, 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 stuff but we're talking about the true custom uh, what we did from three quarter of an inch uh, plywood 20 millimeters plywood uh, for those of you, you uh, in europe so michael black hello again Привет, michael bob hello hello dave good to see you uh, marty good to see you uh, mark herring good to see you wonderful people but uh, a lots of my back pain was connected to job or job related or the way i was uh, working okay and that has to apply to wood carving also the way you carve okay the way you carve and uh, most of you related to that i know we all i mean pretty much all of us uh, do have that uh, especially if you're doing woodworking every day so at certain point you experienced a really painful feeling you know in the lower back and uh, I, I'm not going to try to give you uh, physician advice. I'm not a uh, doctor. But uh, 
there's a couple things what we are able to do. I mean, there's a, a couple things we really want to uh, attack, and I want to probably uh, tell you what I think uh, what we are able to do. And uh, one of the things actually has to do what you able to do in your shop or studio, and a second uh, what you can do with your body. Okay. Uh, I'm not promising that you're gonna eliminate completely pain, but at least, uh, at least it helped me. And I'm gonna just uh, share my experience. Uh, I'm gonna share my experience um, uh, what I'm doing to eliminate, especially when you're just uh, carving. And uh, when you're carving, you always, always, always uh, trying to bend down and carve. And if you carve all day long, uh, that is not fun. It's not fun. Okay, so uh, number one, what I'm going to say, so what you are able uh, to do with your shop, it has to do with your bench, okay, with the bench height. For example, when I'm teaching um, uh, at different schools, uh, the bench height, uh, you know, it's just a normal bench height, uh, what the other woodworkers use, and uh, I guess it's okay, uh, it's okay, uh, but it's not proper for... Um, uh, uh, for wood carving okay so it's not really a, a proper for the wood carving uh, for wood carving you have to uh, do something different okay let me read the chat okay uh, so Paul Decker is saying I have to sit when I carve until I can raise my bench I am 64 you a tall guy man <laughs> okay all right so, but anyway, so uh, it's also the question. I mean, when you work in, in a shop, so that is a side number one. When you work in your shop, so what you're supposed to do? Let's start with the seating and standing. And I've done a lot of work both ways, okay? Uh, I was sitting and I was standing. And uh, uh, in reality, I was getting a lot more pain when I was uh, working by sitting okay so I had my lower back hurt really badly when I was carving uh, when I was just uh, sit down okay so it, uh, it feels like it's relaxing but it's not because you always bowing down and uh, you actually stressing out a lot uh, you know your back uh, while you sit so uh, for a long time already for a long time already I decided I'm not gonna sit I'm not going to sit and carve. Uh, and uh, when I'm telling you not going to sit and carve, I'm talking about uh, huge pieces. Of course, if you're working on micro detail and if you're not going to do uh, a lot of movements, uh, I, I guess it's okay. I mean, you can sit and just work uh, just at that detail. But uh, a couple of things why I don't like to sit. First of all, I found myself, uh, I'm too slow when I'm, you know, just to get that sitting position. I, I'm getting really too slow. That's no bueno for me. That's no good. So uh, that is number one. Uh, second, like I said, it's probably okay when you just sit and work on a small detail. Uh, that is okay if you're working on a micro carving. Uh, that, that should be okay. Okay. But when we're working with the big pieces, uh, I found myself uh, it's a lot better for me at least to stay. Okay. Uh, just uh, that get that position to stay okay but there's another problem if i'm staying in the normal height of a bench uh, when you look at the woodworkers bench there's a rule actually pretty much uh, 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 if it's just a woodworker bench uh, when you stay in uh, so pretty much your knuckles supposed to uh, when you stretch your hand like that your knuckles supposed to touch the uh, the upper part of the bench i mean the top the bench top so that's uh, normal height for the woodworking bench and it makes sense because you when you're working on the woodworking bench let's say if you're working with um, uh, let me uh, get uh, some of the planes uh, when you're working with the plane uh, so you actually using the whole body so you're using the whole body uh, the whole body moves and that makes sense to have that uh, position right there okay uh, uh, but uh, wood carving is a little different wood carving is little different so it's not comfortable to 
bent over all the time and work like that okay so that is not so like i said before so for woodworking normal woodworking furniture making uh, so your knuckles supposed to touch the bench top but for wood carving not the knuckles but the elbow that's the height what it's supposed to be uh, i noticed some of one uh, some of you said that's a 42 inches what uh, you have a bench raised but it's not necessarily 42 inches like you know <laughs> We're talking about uh, Paul is saying he is a 6'4 and 42 inches won't do anything, you know. And uh, he's like, you know, that much taller than me. And uh, I'm 5'10 or maybe 5'11. Uh, and uh, so he's uh, much taller. So 42 inches not going to do. What you have to do, uh, your position uh, uh, of your carving if you really want to save back it's up to you of course if you want to save back or not but position of your body supposed to be about by the elbow okay see i'm just staying relaxed and my elbow touching approximately the workspace i'm working that way i can easily easily work without bouncing over so i'm not i'm not doing that thing okay so that is probably what you have to do in your shop raise raise uh, uh, the working piece to the height of your elbow not necessarily 42 inches not necessarily i mean like in paul's case it would be you know 48 inches uh, uh, 48 inches like a uh, half of the wall so for him uh, to be able to carve but also uh, uh, it applies to piece like that if it's just a laying by the way uh, now uh, you can see uh, the full scale pretty much the full scale of uh, this carving it's a 10 feet long really really long I, I have no space in my shop you know it just goes uh, almost to the window but that's a really really long piece uh, and uh, i'm trying to work on the horizontal as of now and that's okay like that but sometimes uh, 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 some pieces uh, like uh, i showed you a few times already line carvings uh, it is impossible to do horizontally it's uh, i mean yeah i have to rotate i have to work around and uh, that is just uh, doesn't work by the way uh, are you able to see me on the facebook or not i don't see any people on the facebook are you able to see let me know if you see me okay uh, i really wanna uh, i wanna uh, know if you're able to see me and hear me good but now anyway so like i said what you can do in your shop number one raise the height of your carving piece uh, and in my case uh, my solution was uh, i mean you can see on both sides okay so i just uh, bought uh, multiple uh, drawers it's a tool drawers so yes i i've got uh, the drawers i organized my tools in it right now and uh, if you watched the videos before if you watched videos before i had a wall previously okay it was just a wall behind and i had like uh, you know half a thousand gouges right there on the wall but now no uh, nowadays i just organize everything just uh, in the drawers okay so i know exactly where my tools are i know what to grab and so on but it also the advantage of uh, this approach uh, i do have a, a wood top okay and this is not that really expensive bench uh, on, on the wheels of course i mean uh, you have to understand it's not woodworking bench it's not woodworking bench it's not going to replace uh, but it has an advantage it has a wheels okay and that's a big tall wheels it's already higher on its own and uh, if i need to raise my piece uh, what i do i just uh, use the block of wood okay just approximately four inches of block of wood that's what i'm using uh, and i raised my piece okay so on its on itself it's already taller that's what i love and uh, all of my tools are always accessible to me so i can just uh, take whatever tool i need and i can work with the tool and place it back uh, so that is uh, why i like that system okay so why i like that system and if you really uh, want to know which uh, uh, I prefer because uh, I checked multiple of them and uh, the logic was uh, I didn't want to spend too much money it's just a you know workbench I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on it but uh, for me I had to buy uh, inexpensive but still stable okay so that was uh, the main idea the main goal okay the main goal uh, so now um, 
Dwayne is saying electric drafting tables are adjustable and make very nice carving benches. Yeah, absolutely. And I uh, and I looked at those uh, previously, those electric, uh, which you can just adjust and so on. Uh, uh, it just, uh, I didn't like its lack of mobility, okay? Uh, I love it. Uh, it's not cheap though, okay? It's not cheap at all. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can adjust and make it higher and the lower. It, and uh, some of the wood carvers, they use that all the time. And I, I've done different systems, by the way. I've, I've done uh, multiple systems. And I'll show you what I like the most. What I like the most in this stream. So for me, simplicity and the ability to move around. And I've got multiple benches like that. I've got uh, this one, for example. It's a long one. Uh, it's a uh, it's one of the best by the way it's a narrow it's only 16 inches that's what i love about it it's only 16 inches really narrow that's what i love about it uh, that is my uh, station for um, uh, sharpening and so on and uh, it has all the drawers i need uh, i can get uh, a lot of tools i mean there's a lot of drawers a uh, lots of drawers that's what i love and this is eight feet 90 six inches okay so it's a long one and it's a narrow that's what i love it doesn't take too much space uh, those uh, i've got a couple of those uh, they are a little wider because i'm it's working and i need that little wider i need more stability for it's not rocking and so on so that is a you know just like uh, one of the solutions a uh, second solution what i have I love the idea, I really love the idea of using um, Veritas, um, let me show that to you, Vices, okay? If you know what I'm talking about, it's a Carver Vice, and I'm not sure if I have a spare one laying somewhere around. Uh, oh, yes, I do. I do. So we're talking about uh, this guy, okay? Veritas. I've got a uh, few of them, okay? I've got a few of them, and uh, let me show that closer to you. So here you go. That is a uh, Veritas, you can see it's all beaten. Uh, it's all beaten and, uh, you know, it's kind of old, but it works. Uh, and I've got, uh, like I said, a few of them. Uh, so what I do, uh, let me show to you uh, me. And uh, I'm using special jig. Okay, special jig. See, that side I attached actually Veritas plate. All right, that is a Veritas plate, three inches. And uh, I love the Veritas because uh, they do have a two inch plates. They have three inch plates and you can buy them separately. Uh, you can buy them separately. But why did I apply that on a piece of plywood? And I also did um, uh, rib on the back side. That is the rib if you look from the side. So like that. And uh, I had just a piece of walnut laying around and I used that. But uh, the reason why, the reason why, I'm using two, two Weisses, okay? I, I use uh, two Veritas Weisses, okay? So, and that's actually working really good. And I'll try to draw that little bit. Is that even interesting for you, that subject or not? If it is, just let me know, okay? So, but anyway, so uh, let me draw for you, okay? Let me draw what I'm, uh, how I, my setup is. And I use that.
Okay, can you hear me now? Oh, I apologize. I apologize. It's just the something just that gives me uh, really, really. <laughs> All right. Uh, but uh, let me tell you one more time. I'll try. Can you hear me now? Yes, you can hear me. So what I was trying to explain, I apologize, okay? So uh, so if you are connecting your first voice, first Veritas voice, just like that, all right? So if you're just connecting uh, uh, your first voice, that direction. So that would be a side of your workbench. And it could be just even woodworking bench normal height if you wish okay it would be normal height if you wish so then you attach this board right here uh, it's just a uh, uh, like one inch 25 millimeters uh, four quarter material in my case it's a, a walnut doesn't have to be although i would suggest to use uh, some kind of harder wood like a maple or so and uh, you connect that to this wise and that way you can always always uh, move up and down so you, i mean you should be able to move it and just uh, whatever if you need to work uh, on the lower and if even if you want to sit so you can just uh, do that if you want to stay higher you can do that even if you want to rise it up really high so you're still able to do that and the second veritas uh, vice it's actually connected right on top of this one okay so that would be the second Veritas uh, vice. And uh, your working piece is going to be right there. Okay. Hope it makes sense. Hope it makes sense. All right. So please uh, let me know uh, if it makes sense or not. Let me check if I missed uh, some of the comments. And looks like I missed a lot. Okay, good. Okay, uh, uh, Gord913, okay, I, I tried to uh, explain, does it make sense or not? Does it make sense or not? Okay, so uh, again, you just uh, connecting, you just connecting uh, Veritas, uh, let me show that different way, okay? Here's uh, your bench, right here is your bench, okay? So, and, um, uh, the way you connect you just uh, connect to the side pretty much to the side of uh, the bench all right i'm not sure if uh, you're able to see that on the camera or not to the side then you have this board this board uh, with the plate which is going inside just like that going on the side and this board going to be adjustable whatever you know the position you need and the second veritas wise going right there okay so the second veritas wise going right there and uh, you can manipulate whatever height whatever the position you need to even if you want to sit you can go lower you can go higher whatever so that is uh, one of the setups i'm using and i think it's a really uh, really helps me a lot it helped me actually so much especially when i'm working um, uh, with the really complicated pieces and uh, i need to work from the back side and uh, that way i can actually raise it all the way and attack it from another side all right so without uh, taking my piece out so it just uh, really saves me a lot of time and it saves me the most important from back pain from uh, pain of my lower back okay if you wish because every woodworker experiencing a back pain and that's uh, no bueno so I, I think that is a really really uh, smart idea and i've got like i said multiple i've got multiple um, uh, plates uh, i've got uh, uh, two inch plates i've got three inch plates i've got multiple uh, vices uh, matter in fact uh, you know uh, right at the front of me uh, right at the front of me so you um uh, you see just the white board but it's actually uh, not the white board it's actually uh one of my bench setups uh when i'm working for furniture i'm doing a furniture panel and that's actually also on veritas vice okay and i can rotate that uh, whatever the direction i want to 
I, I hope it makes sense and I hope it's a really good subject. And uh, again, people, uh, I'm just uh, telling you, it's not the really tricks or uh, secrets. Uh, it's one of the uh, ideas because I'm working every day and uh, I experiencing that back pain all the time just from my woodworking or wood carving if you wish. And I guess wood carving is type of woodworking. You're still working with wood, okay? So, uh, now, Celso is saying, sounds very task and hold lots of weight absolutely those lions those two kittens what you saw they huge they really huge and i carved them just by using that very task okay so that's what i used and that's holding really good uh, on itself uh, what you have to do sometimes once in a while just uh, replace the uh, ring there's just a rubber ring on inside okay so you just uh, pull it out and order that back it's just like 20 cents from them okay but again don't don't get stuck with veritas okay don't uh, there's a lot of different vices really 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 good ones okay so it's not the only one i really like uh, uh, this one because it was just convenient for me to buy but i'm almost 100 percent sure any other vice will work the same way any other wise will work the same way. As long as you can find the uh, device on the market, uh, even on Amazon, I'll, I'll, go I'll, I'll Google it. I'll, I'll try to uh, search on Amazon and after a uh, stream, I'll place a link um, um, just to help you out, okay? Uh, so which one I think is gonna hold. Uh, I, I don't like the ball ones, uh, which is uh, you crank and there's a ball inside uh, because it doesn't hold the really heavy weights. Uh, and for some reason, this one, doesn't have a bolt it has um uh you know see those uh, notches like uh notches like this and it just uh, goes in one of those positions that's why it actually stays stable it's not the ball based see right there uh you know it just uh, lines up with that position you've got uh, your plate going in and it's locked down okay so it's really good it's really really good i love it i love it and uh, also the plate itself uh, uh, you just imagine it rotates so if you able to find something like that uh, you'd be glad you did okay so i should say that uh, but again uh, don't stuck uh, don't think uh, veritas is the only one uh, don't think that uh, I believe uh, there's a good ones uh, you can buy to buy one uh, if you're in Europe uh, you can buy uh, uh, even uh, I, I, I'm not sure but I think even a uh, Robert Sorby they they had some kind of uh, holding device uh, for the wood carving also like a wood carver's vice okay but uh, there's the multiple ones just don't buy the bull one the bull one is not gonna hold as much heavy if you're planning to do some heavy stuff like those lines okay but they are connected right there so uh, so that is what you can do in your shop uh, to eliminate the back pain okay so the subject of today why I use that system uh, because uh, I really struggled before uh, with the back pain and especially if I'm working in my shop uh, every day every day you know to, you know a lot of hours uh, and uh, yeah by the end of a day if you just uh, all the time uh, staying both down like this you know it's not it's not helping at all it's just the really really uh, a lot of stress on the back a lot of stress on the back it's no good in all no good in all so second uh, second thing what you can do with your body okay because it's probably the most important uh, uh, and uh, let's start uh, uh, how often you have to take rest or break if you wish uh, if you're in the united states you know it's a common thing to take a break uh, and uh, a wood carving is a little different from other professions little different um, well let's say uh, if you uh, installing kitchens if you're building kitchens uh, you're still taking break but you're always moving okay so you really don't need as many breaks so you can take just like a uh, one break before lunch then lunch break and there's another after lunch break and that's pretty much uh, okay okay some of the uh, woodworkers they never take any breaks i don't i mean when i was building cabinets and uh, furniture i did not take breaks and all the reason why because you're always moving you're just moving around so you're not like staying in one position uh, bending down so that is uh, 
the big difference between just normal woodworking and uh, uh, wood carving. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention uh, when we're teaching that uh, those classes uh, in some of the schools, uh, uh, they, they have a normal height, normal height benches. And uh, what we've done in some of the schools, they actually did it just uh, for uh, carving classes. Uh, what they did, what they did, uh, pretty much uh, 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 just for carving classes, they've got uh, raised um, uh, raised bench, okay? So bench on top of the bench, like a small uh, extension to the bench. No, nothing special. It's just the, uh, three boards, four boards. One on below. Well, actually, let me draw that to you, okay? So that way you, you'll know exactly what I mean, okay? So it's actually nothing special. So uh, you've got one board. So you've got another board, another board, and the upper part, okay? So, and here you go, that is uh, your bench. And you're carving, uh, you're just uh, placing that right on top, okay? Right on top. And a uh, wood, uh, woodworking bench right below it, okay? So that would be your woodworking bench. Hope it makes sense. Hope it makes sense, all right? So, uh, uh, now, <laughs> let's jump back to body. Breaks, that's number one. How often you're supposed to take a break? And uh, I honestly have to push myself. I actually have a even reminder uh, on my watches, okay? Uh, on my watch, I have, uh, uh, you know, you can judge me whatever you want to, but for every hour, for every hour, I have a, you know, my watch just showing you, praise the Lord, okay? So that's, that is the time to pray and praise the Lord, okay? Uh, and uh, I walk away and just uh, uh, praise Him for a few moments and uh, go back. But it's every hour. Uh, at least, at least I know uh, some other wood carvers, they recommend just to take uh, like uh, at least every two hours, every two hours, a break and walk away and walk away uh, what I do uh, what I do when I'm taking a break I'm not just uh, walking away uh, so uh, not just uh, stretching but I actually squat you know multiple times you know uh, that way uh, uh, and you know the squat is actually really helps uh, with uh, with the back and that's what I'm doing uh, like at least like a 20 uh, times and uh, so on just all the time you know just a squat and of course you can do the push-ups but push-ups not uh, doing any good uh, for the back but squats do okay because you actually are using the whole body to push you uh, yourself up and uh, uh, it is still possible to do uh, even for the older people uh, just to don't do you know like uh, a lot of squats uh, you know uh, in once but I think it's a good idea. Uh, now, that's what I'm doing during the break. When I'm taking a break, I'm squat. I mean, and especially it makes sense, you know, if you want to stay in shape uh, or somewhat in shape or if you want to lose some weight, uh, you know, it makes sense. I mean, when you're carving, you're carving all day long. You're carving all day long and you're not moving. So you're not uh, using your muscles uh, and uh, you made to use your muscles and right here all the muscles you're using only hands and especially just the palms all right so the squatting gonna help uh, second uh, i would probably uh, would say if it's possible if if it's possible uh, to get to a gym uh, every morning uh, yes uh, i am not always but uh, i pretty much all my life uh, i'm going to gym uh, i mean not all life uh, since I came to United States, uh, going every morning to gym, uh, uh, to exercise, okay, because it's really important, uh, uh, it, uh, uh, especially after I ended up in a hospital. It made uh, all of the sense in the world for me. Uh, doctor said we can't fix it. I mean, it's you know, you can't do anything physically. I can't prescribe you any medicine. And yeah, I mean, you can take uh, ibuprofen, you can take some painkillers, but it's not going to fix your uh, problem with, uh, with the spine because you already damaged that. And the only thing, what doctor told me, the only thing what you could do, you can actually build the muscles around the spine, which is going to support that spine, okay? And then I started to research what exercises am I supposed uh, to do. Uh, yes, of course, I'm doing uh, all the exercises, but the main ones, uh, which I do pretty much every week, weekly basis, 
uh, all the time, uh, two of them. Uh, so one of them squat with uh, heavy weights uh, with uh, barbell. That's what I'm doing all the time. You know, and uh, uh, yes, I'm using Smith machine. If you go to a gym, you will find that some of the gyms, they do have a Smith machine. It's safer, a little bit safer. You don't have to do super heavy, but uh, once you squat, you pretty much, like I said, all the muscle groups in your spine and also uh, abs, they, they're working together and you building muscles around that spine and you eliminate a lot of pain. Believe me, I, I, I know what I'm talking about, okay? So uh, that is one of the solutions, uh, squats. And the second, even better, even better, it's deadlifts, but you gotta be really careful. Deadlift, if you don't know what that is, uh, uh, if there's a barbell on the bottom, so you pretty much uh, taking it in raising up okay so from the floor and the up but uh, really slow that has actually directly attacks uh, your lower back so those um, uh, muscles but you got to be careful because uh, myself uh, i hurt myself even in the gym while while doing uh, those uh, deadlifts especially when you're uh, all the time trying to get your weights uh, up and up and up and up i'm talking about it becomes heavier and heavier you're becoming more stronger and uh, you've got uh, a lot of strength in your hands and uh, all other you know body parts but the back is back it's still you know right there so so be careful so i'm not advising you not the doctor but i think it's a good idea to do that okay uh, so that would be what you do with your body to eliminate uh, back pain right now i'm going to answer some questions I know I missed uh, some of the chat, probably a lot of the chat I missed. Thomas saying amazing information about uh, using Veritas, need to get it. Absolutely, you don't, again, Tom, uh, you don't have to get Veritas, don't get me wrong. I'm not uh, trying to sell uh, a product, okay? And people, please understand, okay? When I'm telling you what I'm using, I'm not, the, on the market to sell you anything not now absolutely not okay so i have other ways to do a business okay but uh, uh veritas is what i use it doesn't mean it's the best okay uh, uh why i like it because i don't have any other ones i never tried any other ones maybe I, it's not true i tried maybe others but uh, this was uh, one of the choices i kind of like okay i really like it okay so the veritas now let me see. Lori is saying stretch everything in the opposite position you are staying while carving or in your work. Fingers, wrists, shoulders, back. Absolutely, Lori. Yes, that's actually also a really good point, what you're saying. Absolutely the good point, okay? So you really have to stretch and just to move around and so on and just to try to stretch whatever the muscles you're using, even the fingers, even the fingers. Don't break them, okay? <laughs> you know, don't try to pop those bones. No, just to stretch, all right? So, and that's going to help, all right? But, it, I mean, fingers not going to help you with the back. But, oh, yes, I mean, stretching is actually, I forgot to tell you. Uh, it's actually really important when you go to gym, you got to do uh, stretching before you're doing and warm up uh, also your body uh, before you do those uh, heavy lifting and stuff like this, okay? Someone on uh, uh, Facebook, Kazir Mikhailo, asking me how long am I carving? I'm carving pretty much all my life. Я режу всю мою жизнь практически, okay? Почти всю мою жизнь. Uh, Paul is saying I ordered a work sharp this month and the uh, trip file backbend gouges. So very task wise next month. Oh yeah, I mean, Paul. Again, don't I mean, don't uh, think the Veritas is the only wise. Veritas is probably even a little more expensive than what you're able to find uh, maybe uh, even on Amazon. I'll try. But if you want to do Veritas, yeah, that's, that would be a good choice. I love it because, like I said, uh, there's a multiple plates, uh, multiple plates, and I attach that everywhere. Let me show you something else. Okay, right here. Okay, uh, right here. Okay, so see, uh, uh, that plate is a smaller plate. It's a two-inch plate. It's a little dusty, but it's okay. Okay, that is dusty, but it's only two inch plate. 
and I attach that to the piece of plywood and I also do have a small clamp okay so what I use this board for I'm actually uh, I'm uh, using it uh, if I have a veritas a vice mounted I actually place that and it just gives me a small area to work with the micro details and I also have a, a multiple ones like a, a, with the bench hook but it also gives me that rotation movement and so on I can work uh, just with that okay like I said I, I've got multiple I've got uh, uh, one um, attached let me see if I'm gonna be able to find it no I'm not but anyway so uh, uh, well, I do have another project uh, I did not touch for a long time and uh, that project uh, is a Glen Gibbons uh, style wood carving and uh, the plate is attached on the back side that's what I like about it so I can order uh, different plates okay different plates okay good if you have any questions ask me if not I'll finish my stream and I people I really do apologize for a uh, inconvenience I have no idea I have no idea why uh, you know the sound lost today and uh, again I, I was ready I checked rechecked everything and so on okay if you have any questions that's time to ask let me see if I am uh, miss something uh, Bob is saying Jerry Rig is a good brand perhaps yes now Carl uh, asking me a good question your hands are so clean have you cut yourself often uh, Carl my hands clean yes they are uh, almost no scars but I do have a scar if you look right here see this finger right here see this scar it is going all the way okay so that was uh, <laughs> a really bad scar let me tell you a story about this scar I'm gonna tell you a story about that scar uh, I was carving beautiful beautiful flower for my wife I decided to make my petals of the flower uh, so beautiful and tiny okay almost like a paper thing and you always there's a never stopping point there's never stopping point and uh, almost done almost uh, finished with the flower and then my gouge just uh, whew, slipped through the finger okay and I cut the cord okay I cut the cord and it cut to the bone and my finger was just like that okay it was just hanging <laughs> just like that and uh, uh, you know uh, I'm going to church all the time and uh, imagine if you raise the hands in your church and uh, one of the fingers raising like this and that's not good sign in Russian okay so it was uh, not so good but um, why I'm telling you that I'm also playing guitar okay I'm also uh, playing guitar and uh, just because my finger was just like that I was not able to play guitar at all so just because of that cut uh, I didn't have uh, health insurance back then I didn't go to a doctor I did not uh, have a lot of money uh, to pay to a doctor and doctors sometimes they really get expensive and uh, I decided ah that's okay I'm gonna just leave it like that let let it uh, hang like this okay but uh, my children they were young back then they were younger uh, so now I'm a grandfather I have a grandchild uh, also and uh, but back then they were just the children and we would teach them about God and Creator and so on and they would ask hey uh, dad uh, what about God I mean uh, in the Bible we read that he makes some miracles and uh, why don't he make a miracle and uh, heal you all right and back then I never experienced I mean honestly I mean I'm telling you the truth uh, I was a believer for all uh, pretty much my life since 16 years old I was a really devoted believer but I never experienced uh, the true miracle I'm honestly telling you okay never experienced any miracle okay I never saw anybody would be healed 
later on, yes, I mean, uh, lots and lots and lots of people I saw from cancer and so on. But anyway, so I had a dilemma to be solved. Uh, my children questioned, you know, if there's a God, and if there's a God, he's supposed to be alive, and if he is alive, he's supposed to do what is written in the Bible, you know, he's supposed to make miracles, okay, if it makes uh, sense. Okay, now, and uh, then I just locked myself in a closet, and I said, uh, God, you know, for the sake of my children, just do something, you know, just prove it, that you exist, all right? Nothing happened. I didn't feel anything, you know, not like a fire went down from the cabin. Nothing happened like that, anything. Uh, so, but uh, a couple days later, I saw blood. I saw blood on the inside of the finger. It was already healed, by the way. It was healed. And like I said, it was hanging like that and healed like this, okay? But uh, then I saw blood and there was a pain again. I felt a really, really bad pain inside of that finger, all right? And, uh, and I was just doubting and I said, what, what's going on? I, I had no idea, maybe infection or something. And again, I just kind of swallowed. But then a few days later, I found out, I, I, I even didn't notice, but my finger straightened again, okay? And uh, it wasn't hanging like that. And if you doctor, you know, there's a cord and I cut and my cord went all the way up. So there's operation you can do, you can just, uh, get that cord back and just uh, whatever fix it but uh, I did not so but my finger was completely restored was completely restored and I'm able to play guitar and I'm able to carve with no problem and to prove it like I said I can show it to you one more time and maybe you'll be able to catch it maybe you're gonna be able to catch it see it goes from all the way right here and right there is a scar and it goes all the way on the back side okay so it's a big scar so that's uh, to prove the point right to prove the point so that was uh, probably the first uh, the first miracle pretty much I mean physical miracle I experienced uh, in my life and yes my children had no more question so it was a good thing okay okay let me see uh, let me see. Uh, Paul is doing a Corinthian Acantus. That is great. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, by the way, I did not stitch. I did not stitch. Panhash, I did not stitch uh, because I didn't go to doctor. Uh, Carl is saying I love stories. Yeah, it, it's a true story, by the way. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's just a true story true story what was that uh, very thin tool which one I don't know which one you referring okay okay wonderful people thank you very much have a great day blessings blessings to all all of you all right and uh, again thank you I'm gonna show you one more time uh, the last time uh, uh, overall development of what I'm working on and uh, thank you again so wish you blessed and wonderful evening night okay thank you